What's going on everybody? So in today's video, we are going to learn how to make a responsive pricing table using just HTML and CSS. This is what it's going to look like right here. We can hover over our prices and expand a little bit. And if we go into our inspect mode and go into a mobile view, we can see that it properly is stacked on top of each other and it is properly responsive as well. Cool. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing that we're going to do is create two files, one called index.html and another called index.css. So do touch index.html and touch index.css. So I'm going to go into my HTML file and create the skeleton for our HTML code. So I'm going to do doc and just go ahead and import all of our doc type. And for my title, I'll just give it pricing table and Right underneath the head, I will do a link tag and link our index.css file. So I'll do href is equal to index.css and rel is equal to style sheet and type is equal to text slash CSS. And inside of the body, let's add an h1 that says hello. And inside of here, we'll just do target the h1 and do color yellow just to make sure that everything is working. All right, now we can see that both of our files are connected properly. Now let's go ahead and create our three tables. So the first thing that we're gonna do is minimize this terminal. We no longer need that. And I'm gonna get rid of this H1 tag. We don't need that anymore. And I'll create a div tag and give it a class of flex container. And I'll make another div tag. I'll give this a class of pricing table and inside of here I'll make a ul tag and I'll make another div tag give it a class is equal to price background and inside of here I'll make an li tag give it a class of name and uh, let's type in light make another one with an li tag give it a class of price tag and let's just do six. And underneath this div tag, we'll make another div tag and give it a class name of info. And we'll make an li tag. And I'll just do 10 GB space. Copy this and paste it two more times. And let's do three domain names. You can have whatever you want here. This is just some placeholder that I thought of. Standard support. And right underneath our UL tag, we'll create a button tag. And I'll just type in buy now. Let's copy, let's save it, and let's see what we have. Cool. So now let's go ahead and copy this two more times. In fact, before we do copy it, I'll just add a comment here that this is table one. So we have a little bit of distinction. And this will be our table three, and this will be table two. And we'll save that. Let's go back and see if it works. Cool. I uh, sort of messed up a little bit. We don't actually need all of these flex containers on each and every one of them. We just need one main flex container. So I'll get rid of this one and I'll also get rid of this div tag as well as this one. And I'm gonna save it and make sure that everything is still working. Cool, it still works. And I'm going to add a um, add-on to this class name since this table, our last table is gonna be a little bit more different. So I'll do price, price background business, or business for short. And I'll just do midness. I think it should cost at least 15. We'll do 25 gigabytes of space. And, and let's go with nine domain names, live support. And for this one, I'll just do pro and $10. We'll do 15 gigabytes of space and six domains and standard support. That sounds good. All right, so now let's go ahead and create our responsiveness. So inside of my index.css file, I'm gonna get rid of this h1, and I'm gonna target the body, 
and let's change the background color oops not background attachment background color and we'll do hashtag 222 f 3 e and we'll do font family just oops just sans ser serif and I'm also going to import um, the font uh, link I'm just going to try to find it here wherever it is and just put it at the very top the link to this is also in the description below so don't worry about it or you can just go ahead and find uh, a different one from Google fonts that's where I found this one from and uh, so the next thing that we're going to do is target our flex container and I'll do display flex justify content center and I'm going to do target our pricing table and I'll do background color for this one to be hashtag f1 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 and width we'll do 10 em margin let's do 1 em text align we'll do center line height 2.5 em font size 2 em border radius 0 0.3 em height to be 15 em let's save it and see what it looks like now cool that looks really really disgusting why is this one targeted only let's see if we targeted give it the proper name flex container is it spelled right pricing table okay so control f flex contain oh so we didn't spell it right oh no we did it did let's take this div tag and put it to the very bottom now it should work there we go let me zoom out nice so now we have a little bit of responsiveness going but the problem is that if we go and inspect and we minimize it we can see that it's all squished up and we don't want to have that so let's stack them on top of each other so to make that work going back into the index.css file at the bottom here i will just do at media only screen and max width at 971 pixels and i'll target pricing table margin left auto margin right auto and i'll target the flex container display flex float none width we'll set that at 100 percent and flex direction column save it and see if it should be a lot more responsive now so if you, there we go now it's stacked on top of each other it's looking a little bit better now let's go ahead and add some style to this all right so let's design our first two prices and then we'll worry about the last one last so outside of our media uh, we'll just do target the ul first and let's do list style uh, type to be none padding left at zero margin at zero as well and i'll do price background and i'll do background hashtag one f one five five a border top right radius 0 0.3 em i wish there was just one command to target all of the top but uh, we have to do left front as well so border top left radius at 0 0.3 em color white and padding bottom at 1 em and the next one will be our scroll down a bit price background dot name so font weight we'll set that at about a hundred margin bottom negative one em 
price background dot price tag font size to be 2em and the last one is price background dot price tag before and I'll do content quote dollar sign so this is for our dollar sign oops not a comma there we go font size and I'll set it as 0 0.3 em and I'll do vertical align to be super and let's test it out and see if it looks good or not there we go now we got a little bit of style going that looks a lot better than it did before all right now let's add a little bit of design to our info right here and our button as well so right underneath here I will just do a font weight to be bold not blod bold and I'll do info font oops font weight and we'll do 500 for that font size 0.7 em and our button just target all of the button so for that we'll do background color hashtag 40739e and it's a very specific color so order none uh, color white padding 0 0.8 em and 7 em blue we'll text align center border radius to be 2 em and font size at 0 0.4 em and now let's check it how it looks cool that looks way better now all right so now let's go ahead and design our last price table right here so for this one i'll scroll all the way to the bottom and i'll do price background oh come on price background bidness and i'll do background hashtag d60770 and I'll do border, same thing, border top, left radius at 0 0.3 EM. Copy this and right radius as well. And now let's do color white, padding, bottom 1 EM. And price background bidness dot name, font, weight at 100 oops there we go margin bottom at negative 1 em and the next one is price background business dot price tag we'll do font oops font size at 2 em and the next one is price background business dot price tag before and for this I'll just copy what I have for this before right here as well and now let's see what it looks like it should be a lot better there we go nice now let's add a little bit of a transition when we hover over them so to do that, I'm just going to target the pricing table since they're the both since they have the same class name in all three tables. So I'll just do pricing table and transition all 0 0.2 seconds ease in out and on hover. So pricing table hover transform scale 1.1. And now if we save it now we'll see that it expands on hover nice now if we go into our inspect and we go into a mobile view we can see that it has proper responsiveness and I can click on it it hovers it transitions it expands a little bit and uh, yeah cool so I hope you all enjoy this tutorial and if it helps you out be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one